Hello friends, welcome to Tech Accessibility Tutorials. This is Vaishnavi here. So after a long time, I'm back with a video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a macro in Microsoft Word using a screen reader. So before getting to the demo, we should know what is a macro. Basically, macro helps us to automate our frequently performed tasks with a single keyboard shortcut. For instance, if you have to create a table with 10 rows and 5 columns, or say 10 rows and 10 columns every time, you need to perform a series of steps to insert the table. But if you create a macro with a single keyboard shortcut, you can easily insert that table. So we got to know what is a macro. Without any further delay, let's get started into our demo. For this demo, I have already opened a word document, which is blank. Title is document one dash word, print view, blank. Here I am going to press Alt Q. Alt Q. Tell me what you want to do. Dot 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 edit. Type in text. Alt followed by Q. I am going to type macro here. M A C R O. So I am pressing down arrow until I get to record macro or stop recorder. Macro. Menu. View macros. The move through items. Press up or down arrow. F8. Down arrow again. Record macro slash stop recorder. D. I am pressing enter on it. Leaving menus. Tell me what you want to do. Dot 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 edit. Type in text. Alt followed by Q. Record macro dialog. Macro name colon edit. Ma here we have to name the macro, so I'm typing demo. D -E -M -O. Now I'm going to tab four times to get to the description, or you can tab until you hear the description. Demo tab, toolbars button to add tab, keyboard button to add tab, store macro and tab, description colon edit, type in text, alt D. So in this description edit box, I'm going to type the description. So if you want, you can type, otherwise you can skip it, it is optional. So I'm typing here. D -A -L -E, table, double R -T -H, with one zero R O double S ten A F D and one zero C O L U M N S ten columns table with ten rows and ten columns. So I have given the description. Now I'm going to press Shift Tab to get to keyboard button. Shift Tab, store macro and call Shift Tab, keyboard button to activate. Press space bar. I'm going to press space on keyboard button. Space. Customize keyboard dialog. Specify a command. Press new shortcut key. Colon edit. Type in text. Alt N. Here we have to assign a keyboard shortcut. So I'm pressing Control 1. I'm holding Control key and pressing 1. Control 1. Now I'm pressing Tab. Tab. Save changes and colon combo box. Normal to change the selection. Use the arrow keys. Alt V. You can also press Shift Tab to check if the keyboard shortcut has been assigned properly or not. Shift Tab. Press new shortcut key. Colon edit. Control plus 1. Type in text. Alt N. Okay, the keyboard shortcut has been assigned properly. Now I'm going to press tab here. Tab. Save changes and colon combo box. Normal to change the selection. Use the arrow keys. Alt V. Hmm. In this combo box, we have two items. One is normal. If we select that option, this macro will be applicable to all the documents. And another one is current document. That is document one because we didn't name the document yet. So if we select that second option, that is current document, this macro will be only applicable to this current document. So I have selected this normal only. So I'm pressing tab. Tab, assign button to activate press space bar all day. I'm just pressing space on assign button. Space, customize keyboard, rich edit, control edit, press new shortcut key, colon edit, type in text, all ten. Now we have assigned a keyboard shortcut that is control one. Now we need to close this. So I'm going to press tab twice to get to close button. Tab, save changes and colon combo tab. Close button to activate press space bar. Just press space on close space. button. Edit. Now we have assigned a keyboard shortcut, but we need to perform the action to be recorded in a macro. The macro is being recorded now. So I want to insert a table with 10 rows and 10 columns. So I'm going to press Alt Q again. Alt Q, tell me what you want to do. Dot, 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 edit. Type in text. Alt followed by Q. Here I'm going to type table. E A B L E. I'm pressing down arrow. Table. Menu. Add table submenu to move through items. Press up or down arrow. Slash. I'm pressing right arrow to expand the add table submenu. Leaving menus. Add table. Ribbon. Ribbon tabs. Tab. Tell me what you want. And we have a lot of options here. So in this submenu, I'm just pressing up arrow to get to insert table. We have to press up arrow a few times. Menu. Quick table submenu. To Excel spreadsheet. S. Convert text to table dot 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 unavailable. Draw table unavailable. Insert table dot dot dot. So we have to press enter on insert table. Leaving menus, document one dash word, to set the value, use the arrow keys or type the value. Insert table dialog, table size, number of columns, colon edit spin box, five, to set the value, use the arrow keys or type the value. 
so by default it is given as five columns but i don't want five columns so i will delete this five five i'm going to type 10 here one zero so i'm going to press tab to change the rows as well Ten, tab number of rows colon edit spin box two to set the value use the arrow keys or type the value alt r let's delete this two two now i'm pressing 10 one, here zero so i have given 10 columns and 10 rows now you can input any number of rows and number of columns as per your wish so i'm gonna press tab until i get to ok button Ten, tab fixed column width colon radio button check the tab auto fit behavior edit spin box auto to set tab remember dimensions for new tables check box not checked the check press space bar alt s i'm not going to change this options so tab. ok button to activate press space bar I'm just pressing space on OK button. Space, table 1, uniform table, land, row 1 of 10, column 1 of 10, edit. Now the screen reader said that there are 10 rows and 10 columns in this table. So we have recorded the action. Now we need to stop the recording of the macro. For that, we need to press F6. F6. Work out zero. So after pressing F6, we need to navigate with the left or right arrow keys to get to macro recording recording button spelling and grammar check no errors button to activate press enter i'm pressing right arrow again language english left parent united macro recording recording button to activate press enter okay the screen reader said that macro recording recording language, macro recording recording button to activate press enter so i'm going to press space or enter here to stop the recording space macro recording not recording button to activate press enter so after pressing space bar, the screen reader just said that macro recording not recording. Language, macro recording not recording button to activate press enter. Now the macro recording has been stopped. So let's just press escape. Escape, edit. Escape. Now we have to delete all this table. Out of table, selected, space, space. So I have deleted all the table here. Now it is a blank document again. Blank. Now. If I want to insert that same table with 10 rows and 10 columns, I do not need to go to table and insert table and such series of steps. I just need to press control 1. Control 1. I have pressed control 1, but unfortunately the screen reader doesn't announce the table has been inserted automatically. So we have to press any of the arrow keys to check if the table has been inserted or not. Table 1, uniform table, land, row 2 of 10, column 1 of 10. So, it's just said that the table has been inserted with 10 rows and 10 columns. So friends, we just learned how to record a macro. What if you want to delete this macro? Let me show you the steps. So, let's first delete this table. Out of table, selected, space, space. I have deleted the table. Now, I'm going to press Alt Q again. Alt Q, tell me what you want to do, dot, 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 edit, type in text, Alt followed by Q. I'm going to type macro here. M -A -C -R -O. I'm pressing down arrow. Macro. Menu. View macros. To move through items. Press up or down arrow. F8. I'm pressing enter on view macros. Leaving menus. Tell me what you want to do. Dot, 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 edit. Type in text. Alt followed by Q. Macros dialog. Macro name colon edit combo. Demo. To set the value. Use the arrow keys or type the value. Alt M. Here, if you have multiple macros, you can expand the combo box by pressing alt down arrow and navigating with the arrow keys. You can select the macro which you want to delete. So for now, we have only one macro here. So I'm just pressing tab to get to delete button. Tab, run button to act tab. Step into button to activate tab. Edit button to activate press space bar, alt e. From this edit option, you can edit the macro. Tab, create button to activate press space bar, alt c. From this option, you can also create a macro. Tab, delete button to activate press space bar, alt e. I'm just pressing enter on delete button. Macros dialog, Microsoft Word dialog. Do you want to delete macro demo? Yes button to activate press space bar, alt. No button to activate press space bar, alt plus n. I'm just pressing enter on yes button. Yes button to activate press space bar alt plus y. Document one dash word macros dialog macro name colon edit combo to set the value use the arrow keys or type the value alt m. So we have successfully deleted the macro. So there are no macros in the combo Escape. box. Edit. So friends in this way you can record a macro and delete a macro. Hope this video is helpful to you. If you like this video give it a big thumbs up. If you have any suggestions and feedback let us know in the comments. Please share this video with your friends and from now on we will be posting videos regularly in this channel. So don't forget to subscribe.